What does vitamin C do? As both an antioxidant and an enzyme cofactor, so much. But let's focus in on three specific health effects. How vitamin C affects our stress and mental health, our risk for kidney disease, and gout. One of my favorite studies that looked at how vitamin C affects the stress response gave study participants a vitamin C supplement or a placebo for two weeks, and then subjected them to acute psychological stress in the form of mental arithmetic or public speaking. The study participants who were in the vitamin C group had lower blood pressure, a marker of stress, faster salivary cortisol recovery, and lower levels of subjective stress. A 2021 systematic review showed that vitamin C has mood elevating effects in people with subclinical depression, and low intake of vitamin C has been strongly associated with increased risks for depression and anxiety. A 2024 study showed that people with the highest levels of vitamin C in their blood, which correlates with dietary vitamin C, had a nearly 47% reduced risk of developing chronic kidney disease compared to people with the lowest vitamin C levels. And a 2006 prospective study that followed 47,000 men for nearly 20 years found that for every 500 milligram increase in vitamin C intake, they had a 17% reduced risk of developing gout. And if you're interested in all of the ways that vitamin C improve our health, how much of it we need, and all of the best food sources, well, of course, I've got an article for that. Head on over to Nutribor.com, click on nutrients, click on vitamin C. Biological roles and health effects are towards the top of the article. Problems from too little or too much in the middle. And all the best food sources are at the bottom.